And now we travel to Leverkusen to meet coach Roger Schmidt. He made his Bundesliga coaching debut with the club this past summer. And since his arrival, the team has gotten quicker and is on the offensive. Schmidt has tweaked and fine-tuned their training methods. But then what else would you expect from a former engineer? So how much does his former profession influence his current job? Mr. Schmidt, do you still have checkered shirts in your closet? Checkered shirts? Why? Did I wear one once? It said mechanical engineers like to wear checkered shirts. Apparently not all of them. I can't remember ever wearing a plaid shirt, and certainly not when I worked as a mechanical engineer. Not all stereotypes are true. You're probably right, but you know what I'm getting at. Your life before professional soccer. Because that makes you different from many in the league. Maybe, I've heard that before. It was never my plan to become a professional coach or to coach at all. That's why I studied engineering. While I was a player, I also worked as an engineer. I only got my coaching license for fun. But things took another turn. Does that seem far away now? Yes, it does, even though I've only been a coach for nine, ten years. But all that does seem very far away. It's likely due to the fact that in soccer each season is distinctive. Maybe that's what makes it seem longer. It's pretty intensive. Absolutely. Everything you do off the pitch can also help you in soccer, especially if you've taken a different direction in another phase of your life. If you've gained experience and, above all, you've dealt with people and are capable of taking responsibility, that's always important, because as a coach, you must make decisions. What the coach says goes, whether at practice, deciding the lineup, or your role in the organization. You have to be sure of yourself, sure of your direction, and enjoy making decisions. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. During games, you like to keep pushing forward. The ball should always go forward. Sure, I just like offensive football. And I also like holding my fate in my own hands. Whether the ball goes in off the post or out off the post is not something you have complete control of. But the game situation as such is something you can influence, thereby increasing your chances of success. That's why I'd rather a lot happen during the whole 90 minutes, not just have a few skirmishes in front of the respective goals, and whoever manages to shoot the ball in wins. That bugs you, doesn't it? It bugs me a lot. This season it's annoyed me that, although we've often been the better team, we didn't win. Yet I still believe that the way we play is the best. Of course, when we play this way, our opponent must play an intensive game too. They I can't say I'm not going to do much. That just doesn't work. They can play defensively, but they must play intensively to prevent us from scoring goals. Very often, that makes for pretty entertaining games. Do you do the same thing against a juggernaut like Bayern Munich? Sure, then we try to be especially good in those areas. The better the opponent, the better we have to play our game, and the more we have to believe in ourselves. That's why even against teams like Bayern, we try to find an area where we might be better than they are. That's really tough. But there are a few facets of the game where we can be better than Bayern. For instance? The things I've just said, approaching the ball very aggressively and well during matches, playing a ball-oriented game, having more people near the ball and so forth. We're strong in that, strong in getting the ball back once we've lost it. Those are things with which we can hurt even the top teams.